Hello and welcome to the 19 teens. I'm Maria from Sew Through Time and if you haven't watched my previous videos, we've already made the corset and then we've made the brassiere and a hat and now it is time for a 1914 gown. Please go check out the other videos if you haven't yet. When I decided I wanted to make a 19 teens outfit, I of course started looking through fashion plates and magazines and extant gowns and trying to figure out what I wanted to do first. And I kept on being drawn to the 1914-1915 era where there's those really big witchy vampy collars. And then when I found this pattern picture on Pinterest, I just had to make it. To draft this pattern, I took my measurements of my proper undergarments and then just looked at the pattern pieces on the draw line drawing and just drafted from there. For my mock-up, I'm using the same lightweight thrifted cotton twill that I'm using for the actual garment because I have so much of it. After trying it on, I realized that my suspicions of the line drawing not being exactly accurate were right. So I just pinned it on my body how it was supposed to be and then drew out the changes I needed to make it straight onto the fabric. I used a brass jewelry wire for reinforcing the collar. The back yoke is lightly gathered to fit the back piece, then the back piece is sewn onto the yoke and so is the front piece and then the sleeves and the side seam are sewn in one. And then the raw edges are hand serged together. The 
the front is faced with the same fabric and then the edge is top stitched down. The bottom edge is turned, top stitched, turned again and hand hemmed for a clean finish. The blouse closes with snaps. Next up, the skirt. The pattern that I'm using is the three-tier skirt from Works Ladies Tailor System, a self-instructor in the art of cutting and fitting ladies garments from 1914. This can be found for free online at archive.com. The only problem with this system is that it relies on some sort of rulers that came with it, but as far as I could tell, I they don't exist anymore, or if they do, I couldn't find them. So once again, I just eyeballed it based on my measurements. Placket and the waistband are top stitched down. The center back closure closes with snaps, and I decided to leave the tears off for a sleeker look. According to the American System of Dressmaking from 1912, skirts and costumes in soft sheer materials such as crepe and voile, netting, etc. need no braid at the bottom. So I finished the skirt the same way as I did the hem of the blouse. After finishing the skirt, I put it on and then just pinned the tuck in place how I liked it and tacked it on with a few stitches. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please hit that like button and in the comments below, let me know what you think about the 19 teens fashion. If you haven't already, please subscribe and I'll see you again next time. Bye!